How's it going today, guys? Thanks for watching another video. We uh, we just took delivery of uh, a load of sidewall tires to put on the plastic on our silage pile. Or on our silage piles, I guess. Uh, I was just dropping Ian and Eli off in town when I got here. My dad was unloading him already. We have a couple more loads coming here at some point this summer. Uh, we needed a few more tires to uh, cover all the plastic for all of our feed. Basically what these are is they're old, uh, old semi-truck tires and they cut the sidewalls off of them. These are without uh, metal in the, in the sidewalls so there isn't metal sticking out of them. They come in bundles, um, we can cut the bundles open, uh, we'll, we'll do that as we start using them. But we figured we'd get a few loads here before this fall, so we uh, have enough tires that we're, uh, we can cover all of our piles. We weren't able to cover all of our piles completely last fall, so we, uh, we needed some more. So they're, they're basically bundles of uh, tires put together with straps, pretty easy to unload. Then once when we need them, we'll uh, grab them just like this, and then cut the straps off of them. It's a little bit later in the afternoon here. Moving some clay with our 930 payloader. We're, we're putting in a scale for trucks and tractors with trailers and manure spreaders here next to our south driveway on the farm. And that scale has a, a six foot pit underneath of it. So they, they started on that here this afternoon, started digging that. Where me and my dad are just hauling the clay away. We've been talking about getting a scale for quite a few years now. Uh, it's nice to be able to weigh some of the hay, straw and straw coming in, as well as uh, corn silage, uh, earlage, and then uh, manure going out on the manure spreader. So, uh, yeah, good, good to know uh, what's coming in and going out, I guess, or getting it uh, more exact than we have before. So we decided to uh, do that this year, put in a scale. So it's, uh, the scale's going to be uh, 100 feet long and 14 feet wide. So it should be able to scale just about any size uh, tractor, a trailer or a semi that would come in here or go out with manure. they're hoping to get the floor poured of this pit here in the next couple days and then uh, they have to pour the walls and then we'll have to let it settle and then uh, we can start back filling it the actual scale itself I don't believe it's uh, supposed to be here until well sometime in August uh, hopefully it comes uh, before September that, that's when that's when corn silage typically starts for us middle of September or so. We'll just have to wait and see. The pit and everything should be ready, so whenever the scale does get here, they should just have to uh, pour the deck, because I think it's uh, just gonna be a metal frame, basically, and then uh, set it on the load cells.
Tyson has his uh, fertilizer spreader out here. He's been spreading some cover crop seed for us. We're, uh, we're putting in some barley and some sorghum sedan grass on some of the acres that didn't get planted here in the area and some of our own acres that didn't get planted the corn. So we should have uh, a fair amount of that. We'll see if it grows. Uh, we, we just spread it over top and then worked it in lightly with uh, Salford. They uh, they did some of their own just a mile down the road and that barley is up out of the ground already. It looks pretty good. So hopefully that turns out good. Should be able to get, uh, get some feed off of some of those acres that didn't get planted this spring like they were supposed to. So at least that ground won't go to waste. We'll get something out of it this year. There's a, a couple of our neighbors uh, seeded some uh, cover crop for us that'll be for forage. We used to grow barley in Canada for silage, so my dad's got some experience with that. But I, sorghum sedan grass, we've we fed some in the past from the farmers that we work with that grow alfalfa for us. It's been probably four years. We fed that to our heifers. Uh, let's see, a good, good feed for them, I guess. Uh, kind of uh, supposed to be able to grow good in, in uh, hot temperatures. So it's supposed to handle drought well. So we'll see how, uh, how it does for us this year. I think we're able to get uh, maybe 30 acres or so of our own. But in total, it sounds like we'll have quite a bit of acres, uh, at least a thousand of barley and sorghum sedan grass. So hopefully we can get some good yields. the 5th of July here today. Uh, Tyson got uh, most of it seeded here on the, would have been what, the, the 1st or the 2nd of July. And they're, they're just finishing up today some of our, they're finishing our acres up today here, I guess. The uh, 25 to 30 acres that we had. Two days later here, they finished digging the hole yesterday, started filling it with rock and they uh, started forming the sides of the floor. The plan is to pour concrete this afternoon, they have to lay the rebar still. Uh, there's a small chance of rain this afternoon it looks like, so we'll see uh, if that amounts to anything, they might have to hold off till tomorrow. But yeah. They'll, uh, they'll plan to pour this this afternoon. I, I don't think they'll have a chance to uh, film this this afternoon, but they're coming back next week to, to uh, set up the walls and pour the walls, so if I do get a chance to film that, I will do that. It's uh, Friday afternoon here. They, they ended up pouring this yesterday afternoon and they uh, stripped the forms off the sides here this morning uh, there's a drain tile that runs around uh, the slab here they got that put in a little bit more rock put in and then they're starting to put uh, they put these boards down to then set their wall up alongside of that so they started on that and then there's uh, there's three drains in the bottom of this pit and they run to this uh, culvert here and then the drain tile runs into this culvert also. So we'll end up putting a sump pump in there to uh, keep this pit dry. And oh yeah, outside of the pit and inside of the pit basically. That's where we're at now. They'll be back on Monday. They're gonna start setting up the walls and I think the plan is uh, Wednesday, they're going to pour the walls and then uh, from that point, I guess I don't know what uh, if they need to do anything after that before the scale itself gets here. Uh, I think they'll probably strip the forms uh, either Thursday or Friday, 
and then we should be able to start backfilling it uh, a week or so after if, we, if we're careful. And then we just have to wait for the, the scale itself and the load cells and all that stuff to show up before uh, anything else can be done, I'm assuming, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Jumped in our uh, 942 here after leaving the scale there. I uh, showed you here a couple days ago Tyson's uh, fertilizer spreader. So he went and uh, spread about, uh, I think he got about 30 acres on our fields of uh, cover crop seed. It was sorghum sedan grass. So he uh, he spread that yesterday. I didn't get a chance to film any of that, but I'm uh, here in the field now just uh, lightly working in that uh, cover crop seed with our uh, compact disc here. We just have it uh, just barely touching the soil basically. We're just trying to get uh, seed and soil uh, contact I guess is the main uh, purpose of uh, doing this. It's, uh, it's not quite as good as if you were to uh, seed it or drill it uh, into the ground but I think for what we're trying to do here it should work fine. We'll, uh, we can jump out here once and see if we can see if we can find any of that seed. Sorghum sedan grass seed is pretty small. We're in an area here that was too wet to uh, plant corn into, so I came in here with a disc and worked up a few areas. Yeah, like I said, about 25, 30 acres on our own fields. Down there where the cattails are, there's still water standing there. Let's see if we can. So that's uh, sorghum sedan grass seed, it almost looks like canola, or the size of it anyways. Let's, well, uh, let's take a look here where we went with the disc and see if we can uh, still see some. I'm sure we'll still be able to find some of them. Looks like for the most part, we're doing a pretty good job getting that seed in the ground. Hard to tell exactly. The seed is so small, it's hard to find. I'm not really seeing much of anything on the on the surface here, so that's uh, that's a good sign, I guess. We'll have uh, we'll get these 30 acres uh, worked up here, and we've got some dry weather, some dry days in the forecast, anyways, for the next week or so. So we'll see if uh, if it does stay dry for the next week, we'll uh, maybe try to get a few more acres. So uh, it'll be better trying to grow some of this uh, sorghum sedan grass on these acres rather than uh, letting it grow to weeds or spraying it and having it black. Or at least we'll, uh, we'll get some use out of it. On uh, some of the fields of our neighbors that put in some uh, sorghum sedan grass and some of them put in barley also, we'll probably uh, harvest those separately prior to corn silage. But on these, uh, I don't know, there's probably there's about five or six uh, small spots on uh, our fields. We'll probably just harvest those right with the uh, chopper when they're going through our fields for corn silage. And just blend it into the corn silage pile. Not really worth coming to all these small uh, one, two, five, six acre spots. But on the, some of our neighbors' fields, they were able to, some of them, they're actually whole fields that were seeded to uh, either barley or sorghum sedan grass. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that, how those crops grow over the summer. It's, uh, it's been about uh, two, two, almost three weeks since we had rain and it's, uh, it's uh, crazy to think how fast we go from too wet to uh, needing a little bit of rain again. So it wouldn't hurt to get some rain now, but not much in the forecast. We'll, uh, still plenty wet underneath the surface, but you can definitely tell some of these uh, 
spots there. Corn uh, is going to need some rain again here in the next couple weeks, for sure. But I'll probably uh, end this video here. We did. Uh, I, I uh, did, took some drone video of uh, putting 20 heifers into the pasture at uh, March and Casey's at Cows and Co. They made some pasture here. They seeded it last year to a pasture mix and fenced it off here. Uh, would have been late last fall. I think they got it done just before the winter. And it looked pretty good this spring. And then, of course, we used that for parking for the uh, cheese and gelato festival. So from the from up high, it doesn't look the greatest, but with a little bit of rain, I think that'll come right back. Some of the grass got kind of pushed down or you know compacted a little bit. I think it'll come back, but We'll probably end this video with that uh, drone footage of us uh, releasing those heifers into that field. I think uh, they were really excited right away, but now they've been in there for uh, just about a week. And I, I think they'd rather be back in the barn where they're out of the sun and into the shade and away from all the bugs. But I think they'll uh, enjoy the fresh grass here for the summer. We'll see. We're debating on whether we need to bring more out there. It's quite a, I mean, there's, yeah, it's, decent amount of grass there it's a good size but that'll really depend on how much rain we get if we need to bring more heifers out there to keep the, the grass and there's some alfalfa in the mix also we don't want to overgraze it either i think we'll end the video here appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you in the next one